Omo biafra ihe mela no ne nam de kano ya bo mazen nam de kano o hamadike nke bo isindo tu IPOB choro nwero wenke omo biafra no buru abo wala biafra ne maze o hamadike ola kwa nanu mo obo mazen nam de kano malokwa ne ya wona no budu jamni ne mazen nam de kanu bunoha nwa yo ma chokwara nwero we no de manke ndi biafra ngwa umu biafra umu igbo le kwanu otu mazen nam de kanu ohamadike oyisi ndo tu ipob jikuputa Omu ezinea nwa gente kesi nono o hamadike no waya weno kosi mwakwa omu nea kirea. Fellow dear friends, lovers of freedom all over the world, I bring you a particularly sad news on this very day about the passing of my mother. Ubeze Sally Meme Okukano, who died on the 30th of August of this year in Germany. Anybody who met my mother or had the unique privilege of making her acquaintance will testify to her generosity, but above all, her devotion and love for Biafra. Not just for Biafra as a project, but for all those who are within it, she saw IPOB as her family and did everything that she could to ensure that this very struggle is where it is today. And as we all know, the events of the 14th of September of 2017 contributed immensely to her ill health which unfortunately the doctors were not able to do anything about. A mother as caring and as compassionate as she is, watching and seeing her children being killed, 28 of them in total, and having to see their dead bodies traumatize her to the extent that she took ill from which she never recovered. We are grateful for your prayers and on behalf of the entire Kano family and IPOB worldwide, we are particularly grateful for all your good wishes and your prayers. We ask you to continue to pray for us as we also continue to pursue this very noble effort to restore Biafra because that is the only way that my mother could be honored that is the only way that she would want her memory to be honored. We are going to march on relentlessly until Biafra is restored. I did say on numerous occasions that I will sacrifice everything sacrificeable to ensure that Biafra is restored. And today I can tell you that my mother has been sacrificed in this very process. And we are not stopping, we are not relenting. The most critical thing is Biafra. The most important issue facing us is Biafra, and that is what we are focused on, and that is what we are going to accomplish. And as I said earlier, that is the only way to respect her memory and to honor her. We thank each and every person, every group, every association that have made gestures towards us and have recognized that there is need for us to work together at this very difficult period to ensure that Biafra is restored, we commend all your effort. And for Biafrans all over the world, this very effort to restore Biafra continues. It is not going to stop. As I said, my mother died on the 30th of August, way before my trip to the EU, way before my visit to the UN in Geneva, way before my visit and travel to Japan. But we have continued to move on and we shall continue to move on. And we pray for the safe repose of her soul in the bosom of Chukukikabi Amapurimi Henine, who we know will keep her. And from there, she will watch over Biafra. And in our time, Biafra shall come. 
Thank you very much and God bless.